Hello, I'm Alex Storm, CEO of Storm Technology. I'm offering you the opportunity to sponsor the most revolutionary device to ever be designed. Forget about TVs, cameras, cell phones, iPods, game consoles, computers. We've replaced them all with a single device. The O. The O will dramatically change people's lives. It is the next step in human evolution. So don't get left behind and contact us now. P-Energy have announced their partnership with Storm Technology, the company claiming to be developing a revolutionary communication device. Market analysts predict Storm's stock value will double within the week. And now time for a weather update. I've developed IBT, uh, in body technology in an effort to bring Alex's vision of the O to reality. The O will be implanted directly into the body. It's and really no more painful than a piercing. Uh, that's right. We use a fluid nanotechnology to introduce the device by osmosis. I originally developed the system as part of my PhD at Oxford University looking at technologies to assist those with sensory impairments. What I've now perfected is a direct neurocortical feedback loop that replaces and mimics the input sensors. Audio and visual files come directly to the relevant brain centers where they are interpreted as sounds in your ears or images. But the real breakthrough is the transmission technology because now your eyes act as cameras creating and sending video files while your vocal cords directly generate audio files. Sending an email is easy because now your hands are your keyboard and your eyes behave as computer screens. The data sphere behaves as an external hard drive and we've found that the entire system can be powered by the extra energy provided by the energy drink P. Of course I've been following the circus around O. I strongly doubt that Storm has developed an implantable technology which not only allows human-to-human -human communication, but also generates its own energy. I think it's preposterous to suppose that such in-body technology is not highly dangerous. The human body cannot stand such an invasion. As professional scientists, we've been working on a much cleaner technology which protects the integrity of the human body. We are thrilled to announce that Lolita will be a major sponsor of the O. She will design the clothes and accessories for the O. Welcome to the party, Lolita. The Wellington City Council claimed that Storm has copied one of their most famous sculptures for their O data sphere, and they're investigating copyright issues. We're currently testing the B2B protocol. Sorry, you mean bunny to bunny? No, no. Body to body, of course. Nigel is testing the communications protocol on rabbits first for obvious safety reasons before we move to humans. We are very happy with the results. A video showing the possible connection between pee, the energy drink, and urinary infections has been viewed by hundreds of thousands on the internet this week. We were unable to get any comment from pee energy representatives on the scandal that could cost the company millions of dollars in sales. No comment! We are very excited about the new partnership with Excel Fitness. Since the issues with P as an energy source, we've developed a new technology that uses kinetic energy generated by the human heartbeat to power the earth. And we have full support from the Department of Health who are anticipating that this new direction will drive a fitness revolution. <laughs>
bought this great little leader, Oh Love Cage, for me and my boyfriend. So when we go to bed, we can put our data spares in it, and we're even going to connect it when we go to sleep. He's going to be like, so stoked. Look at that. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen. People have been queuing since dawn. Everybody wants an O. You know, it's fantastic. I never thought I'd see technology like this in my lifetime. Unfortunately, Alex can't be with us today. He's at our distribution warehouse ensuring everything goes smoothly with the O release. But I'm thrilled to announce that the O hit the two million pre-orders. Oh, I got upgraded. Now I'm a child 2.0. Oh. Oh, oh. I got here especially early, but there were people already queuing. I don't know what's ha happening. We can't get hold of anybody at Storm Technology. What am I going to tell these people? Look, there must be some sort of explanation. I don't know where Alex and Nigel are at the moment. I'm just as much in the dark as you are. But I'm sure there's a perfect explanation for this. Well, they made us sign all of these confidentiality agreement. They were pretty forceful. There were technical difficulties right from the start. About three weeks ago, we were told that we weren't needed anymore. The O didn't even work then, so why would it work now? Oh, look guys, I'm sorry. I'm just not comfortable faking this. <sighs> We've already discussed this. You've been paid good money, aren't you? You've signed the contract, so just do it. This is the biggest scam of the decade. People around the world have collectively lost millions of dollars on a device that doesn't exist and accessories that will never be used. XL cross trainers have distanced themselves today and people are without recourse now that Alex Storm and Nigel Green are nowhere to be found. This is Jessica reporting for TNT Live. Reports from witnesses indicate that the brilliant engineer has become mentally unstable and believes an O is actually implanted in him. After months of searching, fraudster Alex Storm has been brought back into the country. We can now reveal his real name is John Longfellow, the same John Longfellow who as a university student collected hundreds of dollars, ostensibly to help build a school in Southland. Money that never reached the farm. Want to hear my real story? Exclusive? Then contact my lawyers. Good evening, and welcome to How to Get on the Rich List with me, Alex Storm.